So in this video, we're gonna go through the automatic buttonhole um, on there. So first of all, we'll put the automatic buttonhole foot on and on the back here, you'll see a little lever. So we'll press that, that drops the foot down and then we've then got a bar. Now the back of it is the, um, the back of the foot is the one with the sponge on it. And you know that because this opens out so we can put the button in there. So that goes on and it fits over the top of the bar just there and clips into place. Now at the back here, you'll see that this opens out. You can do this before you put the foot on. That's to measure the, um, the button size. So we're gonna put the button size in there, push it together. And then that's the size of the button we're gonna need. Now for the sake of this demonstration, I am gonna open out a little bit just so we can see the motion of the, of the buttonhole going through. Now, there is a lever just underneath here. Pull that down just there. That needs to be pulled down all the way. And that goes in between the two um, brackets on the buttonhole foot just there, which is one just here and one just there. And that slides in between the two. We're now going to select our buttonhole stitch. So I'm going to select number 74. go and then we'll get a bit of fabric and because it's automatic it does exactly what it says on the tin it will automatically do it so put that in just there and I'm gonna press go on my foot make sure that's down all the way Now this machine automatically stops when it's done, so we'll pull that out. And the advantage to these is that because they're automatic, the machine will do consistently the same size buttonhole all the time. And there you go.